Oh yeah. We're also gonna open up a new watch. Ooh. Pairing today's gear, we got the Say Sky out of Copenhagen. Thanks for all the Denmark flags yesterday. And Sidon off, still my favorite windbreaker. All right, getting it done in Castle Rock before we go uh, seek out a little Puma versus Adidas. Oh man, I'm excited. Oh, Germany, Germany, Germany. Such an interesting history, background between these two companies. You're, you're, you're not going to believe the, the two stores I'm about to go to, that the, the, the positioning, knowing the history of Puma and Adidas. So we'll, we'll, I'll show it to you here in a minute. But oh yeah, also seat on socks today. All right. A little clean merino. Uh, I'll just read this actually right now. The merino edition is made as the warmer and more natural alternative. The benefit of the merino fiber is also a high antibacterial and non-smelling effect. So very excited to say sky. All right, giving these, mm, giving these blenders one more shot here. Just a little, little zesty for my liking, but we'll get, we'll get them going. Okay, so this is crazy. Sorry about the audio. I'm going straight camera audio. I'm just, and I realized we're talking about Puma and Adidas today, but I just have to read this. I just found this note in the socks. It's, bear with me. Bummer. Absolutely a bummer. Our first ever Merino socks didn't meet our high expectations, but they shouldn't go to waste. We were genuinely excited to introduce our first pair of Merino running socks. They felt great, looked amazing, and were a treat for the environment. Unfortunately, we've had to realize that the production wasn't as expected. The chosen merino yarn was simply too delicate to endure as much as we wanted them to. That is, that is beautiful. Talk about ownership and calling yourself out. I love calling myself, I love when I make a mistake. I love when I fail here on this channel. I love when I fail in running as a daily creator here on YouTube. And the fact, you know, it's like calling ourselves out is critical. Humble thyself. Say Sky. Website down below. I am. You, the fact that you called yourself out and were not afraid to. Oh, and then it says down here at the bottom new and improved version coming in the fall of 2022. Bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. She's already got me by the finger. 
She's already got me by the finger, everybody. Oh, ho, ho. hey, come on. Can, can you resist that? No, you cannot. On to Puma. Yes. Let's go, let's go. There's the watch. We'll open this up in one minute. I almost forgot, but we remembered. Here's the deal, Puma versus Adidas. Oh uh, man, where to even begin about the history, the story, the rivalry of these two brothers, okay? And I'm, not, I'm actually gonna link to two much better videos that are gonna go into way more detail if you really wanna dive into the history. Uh, but I'll just do a little synopsis right here, right now. It was two brothers that started a shoe company before World War II, after World War II, so they're from Germany. In this town right here, who lives in Germany? Do you live near this town? Fascinating, the headquarters to this day for Puma and Adidas are in this town. It's not a big town. Real, I, I know I'm gonna visit it someday. I don't know when, but I know I'll visit it someday. Um, so these brothers started, started a shoe company uh, after World War II, they eventually rebranded to what we now know as Adidas. Uh, there was some, a lot of happenings in the family that led to some inner rivalry and uh, inner infighting within the family. And eventually the brothers, so uh, it was Adolf who was the more of the cobbler, the shoemaker. And then it was Rudolf who is more of the businessman. So they worked together and they worked together well until they had this falling out. Well, eventually... Um, after the falling out, uh, Rudolph decided, you know what, I'm going to start my own shoe company. And he founded Puma. I actually don't know how he landed on the name Puma, whereas Adidas is a play on their name, okay? So, the D oh, and I see the sun is going down. That's actually kind of nice because it is bright out. So, through the 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, until the brothers both died about two years apart, it was just a fierce rivalry and they never actually uh, healed their relationship as brothers and even to the point where they were buried on opposite ends of the same cemetery in this town in Germany. Just crazy. So uh, that's a little, just again, I'm going to link to two videos down below, maybe even more of just more of the background and history between, yes, Adidas and Puma. So for me in 2022, who's winning? the running shoe battle. So I went to the stores today, the Adidas outlet, the Puma outlet. I gotta say, Adidas had more options in their store versus Puma. Actually, this shoe I'm holding right now, I asked the store rep like, hey, you have any running shoes? And this is the shoe they showed me. And I, I just politely said, okay, thank you very much. I appreciate you showing me the shoe. You know, they obviously don't know what I do for work here on YouTube, reviewing running shoes, but uh, I was having a little, a little chuckle inside. Bottom line is, right now, for me, uh, Puma is definitely winning the running shoe game with respect to, so I didn't bring all my Puma and Adidas shoes, but I think, and listen, I don't know what's going on like currently in Germany at these headquarters between Puma and Adidas. As you know, in the last 18 months, I think Puma has had a huge resurgence in their running shoe lineup, and it's and it's continued into 2022 now, and even and even with the signing of uh, of Molly Seidel, you know, for the uh, bronze medalist at the Tokyo or the Sapporo Marathon uh, last summer. So. Bottom line, I'm excited for Puma. I'm not writing Adidas off. Actually, uh, what was the run? I did the running shoe matrix, and there were a couple shoes 
Uh, well, even, well, the, you know, honestly, the SL 20.3 has treated me really well thus far in 2022, but there was another Adidas shoe. I'll put it on the screen. I can't think of it right now. So many shoes, so little time. Boom. Uh, this shoe I really enjoyed. Oh, yeah, the Solar Glide 5. Um, I think that's a solid option for daily training. But at the end of the day, for me, I would personally buy the Puma uh, Faster Nitro Elite over the Adidas Audios Pro 2. Now, we'll see what Adidas comes out with in 2022 for their Elite Carbon Fiber Plate lineup. Uh, and I know they had the Prime X come out. So much stack height. Just like, it's just almost silly how much stack height is in the Prime X. But bottom line, I'm excited. I'm intrigued. I love history. I love storytelling. I love the rivalry. Well, I, I'm sad that they never reconciled the two brothers, but at the end of the day, like they both were entrepreneurs and to now like we get to, I guess, kind of benefit as runners to see these two companies to this point, uh, kind of duke it out in the running shoe marketplace. One last point, 2009, uh, the two companies came together for a friendly soccer match in the town in Germany just to kind of put some uh, put some of the past put some of the rivalry in the past so that was kind of cool to uh, to learn about again in one of those videos down below in the description okay here we go the watch polar vantage v2 there it is polar vantage v2 my favorite running watch hundred percent let's open this up oh my my thank you polar shout out to polar thank you for sending this along who's a polar fan oh man and listen garmin i'm waiting for you garmin i would love to test you at some point in 2022 that is the only running watch that i have never tested is garmin so if anybody has connections to Garmin. I would love to test their lineup, but at the end of the day, Polar is my favorite run, and specifically the, the Vantage V2 is my favorite running and GPS watch on the marketplace. Koros has treated me really well. In fact, it's in my, my backpack sitting right over there, Koros Apex Pro, but I, I like the functionality a little better of the Polar Vantage V2, so thanks for re-upping with me, Polar. There you go. Comment of the day, question of the day, actually question of the day first, here we go, is who, what's your, uh, what's your running plans for the weekend? Are you running in, po in, in, po in Puma or Adidas this weekend? So are you racing? Are you going on a big ultra adventure? Uh, are you getting a good long run in? What are your racing, uh, sorry, what are your running plans for the weekend? Here we go, three comments of the day. Jan. Folkerts, you get one of them. The face of true love made by day. So happy for you both having a daughter. That's the first one. Thank you, Jan. Appreciate it. When true love opened up the clothes yesterday. Taylor Alexis, you get number two. Love your channel. You've really helped me understand the full concept of running. I appreciate that, Taylor. Appreciate you uh, tuning in long enough to understand my approach to the training process. So thank you, Taylor. And last but not least, Paul Nielsen says, fun vlog this morning. Uh, Say Sky gear looks great. It is. I have the long, I have the long sleeve on right now, Paul. It, I mean, actually, True Love, Bridget, last night was, you know, touching it. And she was, I mean, I, she said, wow, that must be the softest um, uh, long sleeve that you own. And I, it's buttery soft. Like, it's really, really amazing. So, Paul, it's great. I'm going to check them out. Glasses are cool. Are they too much? You look, are, are they too much? They're a little, they're a little intense, but we're wearing them. You two are the best. Paul, no, you are the best. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Taylor. And thank you, Jan. We will toss it to, oh man, I don't even know. Uh, Puma, I don't know. Maybe the Puma running shoe playlist. Oh man, since they're winning in my department thus far in 2022. All right, right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.